guys we have to get the codings in our fingertips today we are going to learn a new topic around the data frame indexing this is very important for data scientist using the dot loc what is dot loc i am going to talk in this video you can fetch a specific record that you really need okay so what are indexing in detail let's learn in this video so let's get started all right guys so first understand what is an index then we will understand how to utilize that index so for this i have in the previous video i have shown you the same file i am using and let us print this just to understand what is index so if you shift enter you can see this is my actual data coming from the csv file which has date t max t min these are the columns now beside it you see there is some index happening that that means it tells on the zeroth index you have this data it is representing a given row in first index you have this data in second index you have this data so these are called index now in pandas data frame this indexing happens by default once you upload a tabular data by default the indexing will happen now what is the usage of indexing and what is so powerful about it right so let's learn that okay now to so we'll go step by step okay we'll learn step by step the very first with certain questions in our mind with that we will learn step by step now the very first question that we have can i see where the index starts and the where the index ends so we saw all the index numbers now the question is where does it start we know it starts always from zero but again where does it end so for that simply there is a function called index all you do is simply type df dot index and shift enter it gives you an output which says your index starts from zero and it stops at 365 that means you have got almost around 364 rows of data step one means 0 1 2 3 1 1 step so 365 so this is the indexing number it shows you okay great now what is loc here let me tell you these are called loc means location okay you will hear this word loc i am going to show you what is the usage of it but loc means location for example on zeroth location what is there i am asking you on zeroth location of your data of your data set what is present then how do you write a code for this for example here i am saying df dot loc means location and within the bracket i am passing the index number zero and if you shift enter it tells you hey on zeroth index you have this data where the date value is 1119 is it correct 1119 where t max should be 60 the t max is 60 t so it gives you the entire row of data the moment you are giving the index number clear so you have understood what is loc loc means stands for location now let's say i want to know what is there on the third index if you shift enter it tells you on the third index you have 4 january 2019 data so 4 uh, january 2019 data and 47 was the temperature max okay all of this data is coming it is coming now let's say i am asking you okay i want to know what happened on 1st of december 2019 what is the temperature what happened on that day so you don't know the index number you don't know the index number but you know the date so sometimes instead of this index number what we need is it can be formatted to a different column so that when i take the name of that column for example i, I provide a date it gives me the entire set of data so this is powerful so I, we are going to get into that slowly now let's see it can we change the index number to a, some other column so here i am targeting the date column i am targeting the date column can i change the index number to a date column now how do i do it in pandas is pretty simple okay all you do is use the data frame variable dot and i am saying set index what is it i want to set a different index so i am saying set index okay now your data frame has got multiple columns and which column would you like to set i want to set the date column as my index 
okay so what you do simply pass this date column comma then what happens your data frame is the variable which knows hey my index always starts from 0 to this now you are trying to give some other column as its index i'll show you okay practically when you see this you will understand the real value of you know doing the indexing so here i'm setting the index to date and i'm saying in place is equals to true okay t has to be capital so now when i do this and i am going to print df shift enter okay now the moment i print df what happened the date is no more a column now what happened the date has become an index the date is no more a column now you can see from here it has come down so it has become an index now now what is the use okay rakesh you did all of this but what is the real use let me show you the real use fetch what happened on a given date let's say i want to know what happened on 1st of december 2019 so it is pretty simple i will say df dot location previously in the location we used to provide the index number now we will provide a date see because index number you don't remember which is that index number but date you remember what you need so i'm saying 1 december 19 what happened simple now shift enter what happened it immediately given you the data that you really need it told me on december 1st 2019 the temperature was at 41 degree fahrenheit the minimum temperature was 30 degree fahrenheit so it gave me the entire historical data from a large data set so don't you think when you convert the index number to the column that in, that we really need it becomes very very powerful okay so that is the usage of we setting an index to a given column that we need okay all right now let's move on now after doing all of this now you maybe so i'll show you a couple of problems that you might face for example here i'm going to you know do a shift enter here once so now what happened i got an error you will see the code is wrong the code is not wrong what is happening here the data frame variable is not understanding prior to this there is a data frame variable where you are saying this should be the index and here you are entering it twice so it is getting reset it is getting reset back so what you do if that happens go back to the top where you first written your df variable shift enter refresh it so once you refresh come down here i had the error in the set index shift enter and this error will go you might get while you are practicing you might see that error don't worry it is all happening because you are running it twice so it is resetting itself okay so just go up run it again now you have a data frame variable which contains the real index now the date has come so when you when the date has become the index now again you are entering then it will understand hey there is no date only man there is no column as date because you have already set it as index so when you run it again it gives always an error that is the fact so here i would like to reset the df back to original index so there is a command for that all you do is simply say reset underscore index okay and then same thing in place what is the use of in place can anyone say me what is the use of in place comment it so the use of in place is the data frame variable actually contains its original data some modification has been done you would like to replace you would like to reset the data frame but again the data frame itself is a variable so i am saying where you would like to do it do it in the same variable so in place same place okay that is the meaning shift enter now if you print df it will give you the original set of data okay so very powerful information that we have got today so let's slowly move on and do comment if this video was were you able to understand this video completely if yes simply type yes i will love to read those comments so let's move on to our next topic and continue our learning journey